What is up my ninjas? Dark Frog Ninja is here. I am back guys. Uh, I know it's been a long time since my last video. Uh, I've had a lot of stuff going on in my personal lives, but my ninjas, I promise you, I am still here. I'm still doing Dark Frog stuff. Um, plans have changed, I'll talk about that. And then uh, we'll go over the tank growth and how the frogs are doing and some additional information. So, to start off guys, uh, the two new frogs I have, which are right here, this one, and that one, uh, sorry, it's feeding day. I just fed him some crickets and I supplemented with a little bit of flies because I didn't get as many crickets as I would have liked. Um, these two are actually males. So it turns out I have three males to one female. Um, I've seen them both call. Uh, they both sat there and, uh, and called and they're starting to get louder as they're getting older. So yeah, unfortunately I did not get two females. Um, great news is uh, if I really wanted to train uh, to sell them back to the guy he offered to buy them back at the same price he sold them to me. Um, but you know, I don't want to do that to the frogs. It would require them shipping and it's uh, the summertime now and I really don't want to send them out in a hot box. Plus, uh, I do enjoy having them. They're fun to watch. Um, they're very aggressive as far as when it comes to feeding time. They snap at everything. They come as soon as the door opens. If I try to fill up their pot here with water they immediately think it's food time they'll come they'll snap at the water um and everything so they're kind of it's kind of funny and then they've also got now constantine and zed are trained as far as uh when the door opens they think it's time to eat so there's zed right there and you can see the size difference they're really you know these are like five-year-old frogs versus probably you know 19 month frogs so um, size difference is something. So there you go. I have three males. Uh, so it's a three to one ratio. Th three, three to one ratio. So three males, uh, one female. So that's pretty. It's all right. It is what it is at this point. Um, and there was Ed just snapping up a cricket that just went through. Um, I do need to put in some new leaf litter, um, and then I do need, do need to do some trimming. Um, but let's go over the tank overview with the biopod. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so here we go. As you can see, um, the creeping fig has taken over. I really need to uh, trim, and then I'll, I'll plant them down in my grow out bin. Um, there's that. It's gotten really out of control, so I'm going to have to clip off some of these, and I'm just going to have to plant it and see if I can propagate it and go from there. Um, this is doing good. The bird nest fern, the Korean rock fern's going ridiculously well. Again, I'm going to have to do some um, trimming. That guy in the back, that's going to have to come out. Um, this guy right here is probably going to have to come out as well as down here and over there. Um, so that's just going crazy, crazy, crazy. So it's pretty cool. But I have to do some trimming. I've let it go for a while. It's kind of hard to trim now when uh, the frogs are active because every time I come to the, I open the door and I start messing around, they think it's food time. They come straight to the edge of the glass. And that kind of worries me because I don't want them to fall out. Um, so I'm, I'm air on the side of caution when it comes to that. So there we go. And then the uh, dragon fern as well is doing great. The moss um, is dying off in spots, um, but it's coming back in different spots as well in there. The java moss that I planted on the log, you guys can see that, is doing a fantastic. So. That's grown quite a bit. Um, and then there's some on the log, as, or on the cocoa hut as well. No eggs, again, yet, so we'll see. Uh, Bromelia at the fireball is almost too high. It's right there. It's gotten a little bit bigger. Um, it's starting to get more pink, so that's pretty cool. And then the other uh, uh, Neo Regalia is doing well here in its new spot too so uh, a lot of growth the back wall looks fantastic um, it's really greened up a lot of stuff looks good but like I said I have to do a lot of trimming guys I've been really neglectful as far as the plant trimming lately so um, there you go um, the biopod is working pretty well um, I switched it to custom mode now because uh, if I leave it on automatic it floods out the bottom 
uh, quite quick, quickly and I have to end up draining it like every two weeks and that was getting annoying because there would be 50 second, two 50 second missed sessions quite often and then it would flood it out and then the bottom it would be the water level would be up to the bottom of the mesh and I did not like that so I had to drain it a couple of times and then I got tired of doing that so I switched it to custom they get two 15 second bursts of water a day the reservoir in the back lasts longer full of water and I also have not had to drain this probably kind of close to a month now which is which is kind of nice so there you have it um, plans to expand uh, turns out things are not going to happen with the biopod like I had planned I will not be getting another one um, I was going to be a test user for a newer version but um, some things have happened and I'm no longer going to be because I, I don't know well, you know some stuff could be going down there I don't know what's happening maybe they aren't doing another upgraded version I have no idea um, they, their contact with them hasn't been the greatest lately uh, so who knows but that's okay because I still have my old Exoterra in the garage I just got to clean it out and then I'll probably set it up and it'll be right back next to them and then I can get more frogs so we'll see but uh, there you go guys it looks good I am here uh, I'm fine my frogs are doing well everything's going well here just been very busy uh, had some life changes going on uh, I'll talk about that probably in the future with you guys um, but uh, there you go. I'll try to update more, way more often, more than once a month, maybe once every week, once every two weeks or so. Um, but uh, I'll see what I can what I can do. If there's no news, there's no news, and I won't bore you with videos like this all the time because you guys will probably get tired of them. But uh, I'll end it on these guys right here. I see. Now you can see the difference in size between these two. Well, you really can't tell, but there's the, one of the new males in the back. Zed right there, and one of the new males right here. So there you go, guys. This is Dart Frog Ninja signing off, saying frog on.